All right, hello everyone. I personally am not very excited for this week. We are making black bean burgers. The last black bean burger I had was frozen, not fresh. So maybe this one will be different. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I hope this is better than a frozen black bean burger because I feel like I always have black beans in my pantry. So maybe this could be a quick meal to make out of things that I already have in my house. Um, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna like the black bean burger, but I'm genuinely afraid to try the balsamic mushrooms because I hate balsamic, but I'm willing to try it for this video. Um, hi everyone. Uh, I'm honestly not looking forward to this recipe at all. Um, the mushrooms don't sound bad. I actually uh, think that's gonna be okay. I'm not a huge fan of black beans. Like I like to accent it in some dishes, but having it as the main part of my meal, I'm not sure about. So we'll let you know. Um, I'm actually also not very excited for the black beans because I don't like beans, but I'm excited for the mushrooms. I really like mushrooms and balsamic, so I think I'm gonna like something. Referring back to module one, we made sure to wash our hands before cooking to adhere to the safety protocols. The recipe made today aligns well with module five's emphasis on protein sources, including plant-based options like black beans and mushrooms. The black bean burger provides a hearty and a nutritious alternative to traditional meat burgers, offering protein from black beans and cheese. They cater to both vegetarians and those seeking lean protein sources. Both recipes offer nutritious options suitable for various dietary needs. The black bean burgers provide lean protein from black beans and healthy fats from ingredients like olive oil, as we learned about in Module 3. Furthermore, the balsamic marinated mushrooms are low in fat and naturally cholesterol-free, making them suitable for individuals that are watching their fat intake. In reference to module four, the burgers can be adjusted for lactose intolerance by using dairy-free cheese or omitting it entirely, and for gluten intolerance by using gluten-free breadcrumbs. The mushroom dish is also dairy-free and gluten-free already, catering to those with lactose intolerance or gluten sensitivities. As we learned from the required reading, research on diet and mortality is vital but complex. Previous studies have linked certain foods like nuts and dietary styles such as the Mediterranean or vegetarian diets to reduce mortality, while others like high glycemic load and meat are associated with increased mortality. Module 5 covers the importance of protein in the diet, the digestion process of protein, essential amino acids, protein requirements, quality protein sources, and vegetarian diets. It also discusses eating disorders, including anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, and binge eating disorder, their symptoms, prevalence, and assessment. The module emphasizes the significance of early intervention and proper assessment techniques for these disorders. Cheers. Cheers. Do I like vinegar? Yeah, that's really good. Wait a minute, no, I just got it. I like that. That's actually really good. This is good. Um, I think it was pretty good. Um, I think maybe the burger could have been a little bit more crispier. And the mushrooms, maybe cooking them on the pan, like not in the oven next time, would make them also more crispy. That's my thoughts. But overall, good taste of everything. Um, I'm really liking this black bean burger. I would probably make it again. The mushrooms, I thought I liked them, but I don't. Um, overall, I think it was pretty good. The mushrooms actually were better than I thought they would be. I usually make them on the pan, but um, the red pepper flakes and the balsamic vinegar actually um, bring, brought the taste out a lot. And then the burger, it was okay. I'm not overly excited, but uh, yeah. So... Um... Starting with the mushrooms, I actually think they were they were good. They weren't bad. Um, I like the mix of the balsamic with the honey and the red pepper and everything. So I would definitely have those again. Like Emily said, I'd probably just do them so they're a little bit more crispy, not so soft, but they were really good. The burger, I would not eat again. <laughs> it was okay uh, if I had to eat it, but I wasn't a big fan um, overall of the texture, no matter how long we cooked it. So um, so I would I probably won't have that one again. <laughs> Uh, yes, I also didn't like the burger that much. I would definitely not eat this again. But the mushrooms are really good. I like the mushrooms. I actually think the burger is really I'm good like the more really, I eat it. I'm, I'm feeling I'm good. The flavor that's I'm in it really feeling is good. good. The Mediterranean score for this meal is a 5 out of 9. We added a point for vegetables, legumes, whole grains, oils and fats, and less than 7 ounces of dairy. Our meal did not include fruits and nuts, fish, meats, or alcohol.